First, all the celebrities are doing it, even the influencers too. The question then, should you try it as well? I'm talking about super silky, super straight hair. It's being coined this season in the beauty world as glass hair or liquid hair. Think glossy, golden, and full of shine, but you don't have to be famous to pull off this sophisticated style. Studio 5 style and beauty contributor Megan Moore says it's a great look for any woman wanting to look a little more polished and pulled together. Hi, Megan. Hello. Glass hair? Yeah. I right? mean, why not? Sign me up for that. She's here to show how it's done today. This isn't the first time we've seen really smooth hair. I'm thinking of a few seasons back, it was kind of the wet look that was in, right? Yes, for sure. It, everything goes in waves, right? So I feel like like we've seen a lot of waves and a lot of curls in the recent years and we're starting to see this kind of sleek, smoother, polished version coming back. So, you know, it's great to, to have a little bit of both and that you can reach for either option. So let me ask as the frazzled mom on the ground, <laughs> when would I want to try this look or pull this off? Okay, you only really want to do this when you have time to do this, okay. right? Like this is not a quick style by any means. And it's certainly something you don't want to do like every single day because a lot of heat is involved, so it can be damaging. So I say once a week, maybe every other week, it's something that you can do. And then because you're putting all that effort in, hopefully you can get four or five days out of it after oh, good. the fact. Good. Our producer was saying this is what the girls are doing for school dances yes. these days. So if you have a date night or a, a fun girlfriend's lunch you're looking forward to, invest up front and then stretch it out is what yep. I'm hearing you say. Put the time in up front and then wear it as many days as you can. Bring that dry shampoo in there and you can keep stretching it out. But yeah, I think a lot of young girls are definitely wearing it too instead of like curls and updos. Yeah. They're doing it very sleek. So yeah, it's really fun. It's a combination from what I understand of product and technique. Yep. So let's jump in. You say it starts with a certain kind of conditioner. Right, so you wanna look for something that's specifically for glossing that has glycerin in it. Oh. Glycerin is really hydrating, again, really shiny, and it's gonna leave kind of a coating on the hair. It's like that slippery material, exactly. right? Exactly, so again, not something you would wanna use every single time, because if you overuse it, it will leave a coating on your hair. So mm -hmm. this is maybe just, you know, every time you're gonna do this once a week, every other week. This one is by IGK, it's called Expensive, you know, because <laughs> this hair is so expensive That's looking. good branding, way to go marketing <laughs> right? manager. But it's their high shine top coat so you're going to put that in 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 uh, replacement of your conditioner on the days that you're going to do this look does it condition too or do i oh, it does it does it conditions for sure it's uh, glycerin has a very conditioning property so it will detangle in all of the things okay it's just like i said something you're not going to want to put in all the time or else you'll feel build up from it okay okay so you'll swap that out in the shower and then you're going to move on to the styling portion of it and mm -hmm. there's a couple products that you want to start with you want to put something in the ends to protect them from heat okay and also to weigh them down a little bit and to you know like seal those like fry, fried ends right uh -huh. our kind of flyaway ends are not going to reflect oil so, or reflect light so we need something to help with that so I'm using an oil on the daily is this a different product or is this just more of that product um you can use it daily if you want to this is just something that needs to go in before you do any heat styling to really protect the ends so okay. I'm just putting it through the ends of my hair there you can see that mine's pretty pretty frazzled and dry I've got it about 50 percent air dried and then I start to put this in oh okay and then the second product uh, that you're gonna wanna put in after the fact, oh, this one, we'll show you here. This is the Amika, it's called Glass Action. It's their hair oil, it smells amazing. So I love that one for, for this specific purpose. So there's a lot of pro uh, products like the glass that is leaning into this trend. Yes, okay. for sure. All right, and then what? And then we're gonna put in the actual kind of glossing glass coating. There's a couple out there. This one's my specific favorite. It's by Color Wow and it's called Dream Coat. And you're gonna spray that all throughout the hair. So pretty liberal you're going to want to coat this everywhere um, that one has been around probably the longest and I think it's the most well known and it really is amazing it's really cool I, there's there's videos of this product where they'll hold hair and they'll dump water on it and it yeah. just beads right off it's, it's really cool like we're at the auto body shop and we just got a new coat of paint exactly. I actually bought that many years ago after seeing it on the Today Show Hoda Kotb said she used it and she, she's Egyptian yeah so she has that you know thicker coarser hair and it always looks so shiny and glossy she attributed this as one of the products that she uses so okay for sure one two three three-step punch on the product line. Yep, so then it's all about our heat, right? So none of these products will be activated until we apply heat to them. So you're gonna wanna brush everything through with a boar bristle brush. Boar bristle is gonna help the shine. It distributes oil from the scalp all the way down. And mm -hmm. then again, with your products too, it's really gonna help um, distribute. I love this one by Wet Brush because it has the boar bristles on the lower level, but then it has the traditional ball bristles at the top. So it's a really nice mix of both, but this helps detangle and then the boar bristle helps make everything shiny. Mm -hmm. 
you know the brush has a downstairs and an upstairs. Right? Look at that. Two working, levels. Isn't that Working cool? hard for the money. Okay. So that one's super great. And then you're going to just go ahead and apply your heat with your blow dryer, whatever blow dryer you're going to do. And you really want to make sure you get all of the moisture out. That's a crucial step here. So you can see I'm just air brush, uh, rough drying. But watch my hair mm. as I'm applying heat. Look how shiny. It starts to transform. At the beginning, it's pretty fluffy and frizzy. And then as soon as we start adding heat, all of these products activate. Oh my goodness. And without even a flat iron, it looks pretty amazing, right? Yes. Um, and then I'm going through with my flat iron and you can see I'm really using very thin sections that you could see through. Uh -huh. um, and so again, that's why this is gonna take you a lot longer. You really wanna apply the heat really methodically yeah. in this case. Well, we joke about the coat. We've coated the hair, we've yes. heat activated the hair. How does the hair feel when you're done? Does it feel plastic? Uh, no, no, it doesn't. I think if you were to do it too often, you could feel kind of something on the hair. It really doesn't. It feels really shiny and, and soft. All okay. of these are conditioning, so I don't really feel anything different about it at all. I love that plastic wasn't the word you were expecting. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> plastic? She's like, no, no, my hair doesn't feel plastic. No, plastic. No, it looks beautiful. All right, let's finish this off. About a minute left. How do okay. we seal the deal? So then you want to finish with like a mist of shine spray. There's a bunch out there. These are my favorite. I know that this is one of your favorites too. I actually grabbed yours from the dressing room. Mm -hmm. And you only want to plus, uh, put this on the very ends of the hair, kind of the mid shaft down. We don't want it anywhere near the roots because we don't, it can go from shiny to greasy, like I was gonna really, ask. really quickly. Okay. So be careful. These are both by Kevin Murphy. One's called Shimmer Me and one's called Shimmer Shine. And they actually have mica in them. It's like a reflective medical particle. You can see that there. Ooh, what? not so pretty. Look at that. Yeah, so that can go on the hair and give it an actual like reflection because of that mica in there. The golden borrowed from my dressing room. Should I be using the purple? The purple's great. It's a lighter color one, so it's specific for blondes. You oh. can really use either one and they're both gonna be awesome and they both smell amazing they and then do. they just give that gloss the hair. But again, a less is more. Okay, Megan leading out on this trend, glass hair or liquid hair. Now we know you'll have more details for us on your Instagram. Yep, I'll have everything linked and I'll have the video again so you can go through all the steps with me a little bit easier. So um, come find me at thebeautysnoop.com. Some people like to watch cookies be decorated. Now I just wanna watch <laughs> Megan blow dry her yeah. shiny, beautiful hair. Beauty Snoop is where you find her. Great job, thank you so Thanks. much.